The initial deadline for enrollment onto the domestic debt exchange program was the 30th of uh, December 2022. It was then extended to January 6th as government considered making some adjustments while it seeks approval for an IMF relief program. Following disagreements from investors, government again extended the deadline to January 16, which is today. And um, just before we came into the studio, we got um, a, a quick update from the finance ministry, which confirmed that the, the new deadline for the debt exchange program has been extended to the end of January, um, which is uh, January 31. Various groups threaten legal action against government if they are not exempted from the debt exchange program. They uh, contended that um, its current form will impoverish them and let them lose the value of their current bonds that they hold. And it uh, looks as though government buckled or heeded to the pressure. And in a tweet on the finance minister's website, uh, I beg your pardon, Twitter page, it says that uh, they have understood and heard what the public sentiments are. And because of that, government has extended um, the deadline from today, the 16th of January, to the 31st of January. And these are some critical voices who have also been sharing their thoughts on the debt exchange program. That's uh, the majority leader in parliament, Oseche Mensa Bozo, who says, we need further dialogue on the inclusion of individual bondholders. And uh, you know that uh, in the last few days, a number of voices have spoken against it. This is majority chief whip, Frank Anodompre, who has been on a Twitter tirade against the individual bondholders being added. This is one of it. It says, it is unfair and untenable to include individual bondholders. And these are senior voices within the camp of the New Patriotic Party. So it actually has nothing to do with people just opposing the debt exchange program for opposition's sake. But many are asking that a lot more consideration be done.